Hello everyone, I'm Mike Thompson at the Epic Flight Academy. Welcome to our commercial pilot course. Today, we're going to go over keys to success that apply to all of the commercial pilot maneuvers. Let's get started. Number one, a good entry will equal a good maneuver. Number two, the rate of turn changes with speed. Now, have a look at this rate, radius, and speed figure from Chapter 3 of the Airplane Flying Handbook. If we hold a constant airspeed, the radius will change with the bank angle. If we hold a constant bank angle, the radius will change with the airspeed. So, a slower airspeed and a tighter radius means more degrees per second in a turn. Number three, these are not instrument maneuvers. By the way, these really are ground reference maneuvers. Unlike the ground reference maneuvers where our goal is to maintain a specific ground track, such as the S-turn across the road or the turn around a point. Those we could think of as ground track maneuvers, as referenced in the Airplane Flying Handbook, Chapter 7, page 15. The commercial maneuvers are really ground reference. We'll be referencing ground objects, not the instruments, and not a specific ground track. Number four, fly with feeling. No, not that kind of feeling. What we mean is building your stick and rudder skills to the point of sensing the airplane you're flying. And integral with this is key number five, smooth and positive inputs on the flight controls with constant small corrections. And finally, key number six, your A squared, B squared, C squared checklist. That is proper entry altitude and airspeed, completing the before maneuver checklist and before maneuver setup, and then finally, making your practice area radio call while you are clearing the area, both during and throughout the maneuver. These six keys to success apply to all of your commercial flight maneuvers. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more aviation content. And we'll see you next time.